Hi friends, it's me, Simply Sherry, and I am now going to show you how I've organized the master closet, which is next to our master bath. So if you wanna see how I've organized the master bath, look at the video from before this. Also, I switched out my cleaning caddy, so check out that video from the Grove Collaborative unboxing. So here is my master closet, and I consider it a small walk-in uh, master closet and here are the um, baskets for our laundry one is for me one is for my husband when you walk in you see this door here that we usually kind of keep open it's just easier to go in and out and I just have this over the door hook on the left is my towel and then his towel in the middle I have this uh, robe he doesn't like to use a robe so it's just my robe and it works out that way I do like to have a clock in the bathroom because sometimes I'm using my phone to watch a video or listen to a podcast. So I like to always be able to see the time. To the left uh, are my things and then to the right are my husband's stuff. And so let's start here on the right. I have here a belt rack for both of our belts and I have kept this. I think I had bought it they're kind of like categories for uh, dividers that I got from the container store a while back, a few years ago. And they had this in there, so I've kept that. Up here, you can see these are 13 by 13 cubby baskets I got from Target. And also the um, plates here are from Target. So up here are things that we try not to use. And at first I was concerned with covering that window there because I do like the light coming in, but it's still good. And these are items that we don't use all the time. So example, thermal, toiletry bags, laundry and shoe bags, packing cubes, and travel pillows. But it is great that all of those things, all our packing cubes are here. All of our travel pillows are here for a family of four. All of these are here. All of our toiletry bags. Oh, I'm sorry. Most of our toiletry bags are here. So those are for more my family. The ones that I have, they're already packed and ready to go. That They're in another spot in my workroom, actually. And then back here, if you're Filipino, you know what these are, barongs. These are barongs. They're really nice. Some are made out of pineapple fibers. Okay, so my main goal of this video is to just show you how the organization works. It's not necessarily to show you um that i use a capsule wardrobe or how many clothes i do or do not have i did do the KonMari method on my clothes a few years ago and i feel like i've done pretty well with my clothes there's probably things here that i still need to just let go but every season every before summer every before winter i go through my clothes and i purge and then i just try to purge when i can um and i mean I can always let go of more, but I'm pretty good with what we have right now, or I feel good about it. Um, I always wish I could let go of more, but it is what it is. And so when you're setting up your closet, you really wanna think of function, the organization. Like, for example, all of my husband's shirts are here. Now his work, these are basically his work clothes because he owns a Pilates studio. He's a Pilates instructor, personal trainer. So these are the things that he goes for every single day, okay? And maybe on the weekends, he has these. He has some jeans here, and these are his uh, pants for work. And then down here are his dress slacks. Back there are jackets, so the ones that he doesn't use very often. Here are some more long sleeve shirts and dress shirts. He has a lot of dress shirts, and, and it's continued up to here. So that's how we've divided our space. He's kind of more to the right, and I'm to the left. And then we just have our luggage in here. We do have a couple backpacks in those um, luggages. Um, sometimes if we're on a weekend trip, he likes to use more of the backpack type of luggage. And for a long time, I've had this um, alpha drawer. This is the Driftwood Platinum Medium from the container store. Had that for years. And then I bought this one a little bit after that. So... And then this year, when they had their their 30% um, off alpha uh, starting in December, I went ahead and got this one. This is the narrow. Um, by the way, that's the wide. And then this is the wide. And that took a while, one, because, you know, it's, it's not um, the cheapest thing to buy, but it is a good buy, especially when it's the 30% off. I wouldn't buy it full price, okay? Um, so that uh, on top of here, 
I just have this divider example. He has some masks there. He has his watch here and we don't have expensive jewelry, but if we did, we would definitely use this space and put something really nice, a really nice container for um, nice jewelry or we would have it in a safe, right? At one time, we, we both had the black velvet hangers just to save space, but once he decluttered, I mean, he decluttered a lot. I believe I decluttered a lot. Um, and he would just like rip off the the shirt and then the hanger would break. So we went with these um, brown hangers for him. You can see I probably have to dust some there. And then I have the white hangers and we are so good with this and we do not trade hangers. So if he's out of hangers, that means he has too many clothes. If I'm out of hangers, that means I have too many clothes. And that's kind of what keeps us contained here. Now, the other thing I can do is to take all of my winter stuff here and put them in these boxes this or this bin this is winter because there's some winter socks in there and this one is actually empty so i can take all those down put them there and just have this have a little bit more space uh, i'll probably do that later i'm just debating if i should because at one point i used to put all my non my off-season clothes into bins and so i would never see all of my clothes all at one time so these are all of my clothes, okay? And these are all of his clothes. So that's been kind of helpful for me is uh, when we were thinking about this, the function of here, of this space, of course, you will always put things like the luggage, things you don't use often, more out of reach, but you still want to use them and you still use them, right? The ones that you use on the daily, you put them at arm's length or things that are easy for you to get. So for us, we had decided that underwear in drawers and undershirts, um, uh, dress socks, uh, socks, dress socks, like, and even like neckties, he liked better in drawers versus hanging. Cause I did try the hanging method and he has preferred the drawers here. You can see he has some tank tops and this drawer is actually empty. So he still has space there. T-shirts, the t-shirts aren't full, but you know, that's enough t-shirts, but he can add more active shorts. So this is part of his uniform too. And then shorts. So you can see here he has, he has like one pair of casual shorts because he let go of a lot. And so we're probably going to get him a few more shorts since summer is coming up. And he likes the dress slacks. Uh, one thing he would want is um, more um, like a really nice suit. So these are decent suits, you know, like 200 max and so he would like to have something like a really nice suit so we'd have to save up for that okay then we have some towels here so our towels are in the linen closet in the bathroom out in the hallway that my daughter uses but it's been a pain for us to go grab a new towel there and then use it and etc so we decided to or i decided to use these two to hold towels it's just a lot easier for us and this one holds his uh, yoga towels. Okay, so that is his side. So you can see um, we he loves the alpha drawers. I am loving the alpha drawers, the ones that I got for me. And if you put two together, they have these clips to kind of hold them more in place instead of them being separate. So that's a nice um, I, you know, idea that they have. And then they you have to buy these separately, but they're just tags that clip onto there. And then let me show you this one. They have these drawer stops that you can use. And then there's pins in the back that stop the drawer from hitting the wall. Okay, so let's start on this side. So here are my long sleeves. So I try to do it by the type of sleeve, you know, then it becomes tank top, short sleeve, medium sleeves, longer sleeves, sweaters. Okay, and these clothes are very colorful, but I try to do it from light to dark, you know, and or and a little bit of rainbow i tried to do the dark to light and i don't know just my mind doesn't work that way so i try to do i do light to dark patterns in there and so i don't know if you could tell this a little bit okay so this is just a a more of a short sleeve blouse okay that's probably in the wrong place yeah that should be here okay here so you can see here, let me put this in the right place so you can see that. So it actually goes here. Okay, so here we have camis. This gray should probably go behind the white. 
So it goes light to dark and then the short sleeve, no sleeve blouses. Then my t-shirts, shirts, long sleeve shirts with patterns. And then it becomes my sweaters. Over here are the workout tops um, from the tank ones up until the short sleeve ones. Then I have leggings and then jeans. Then you can see my undergarments here. All right, so then here I just have some more nameplates only because I wasn't sure if I was gonna add some more bins or not. So th those are just kind of there. These are the um, papers for those, uh, for the alpha drawers. And then this one, they're kind of like um, stoppers for you put them on this part of the hanger. And so the shirt's not supposed to come off there. So I think I still have a few more shirts to do. So I just kind of left it there for now. Back here are my winter boots and I have drawers here. This one is actually empty, okay? And this one actually has t-shirts and a pair of my, those five toe shoes. So those t-shirts are for when I volunteer, have some boots there. And these are my more formal dresses, which I need actually some good ones and some nice cocktail dresses. And then these are more my casual dresses there. These bins are from Target. So you saw earlier winter. This one is uh, for bags, like small black bags and clutches. This is for swimwear. And then they, I cannot find these anymore except on eBay for a ridiculous amount of money. I wish I had two more of these, but when I went to finally go get more, the, the container store doesn't have them anymore. But this has like um, some purses and some more uh, purses and backpacks. And the main purses in there are um, these ones where I had family photos put on the purse. So I have a little collection of those that, is stay, that stays there. And I like this purse, so that just kind of hangs there. I haven't used it in a while, but this is supposed to be kind of like a nice little display, at least for me. All my necklaces are here. And these are just like those key rack hooks. More necklaces. This is a jewelry organizer that you could get at a store like Ross. And these are all my earrings. And you see bracelets, shorter necklaces, and more bracelets. Oh, I did want to show you a secret stash. I do have some more jewelry there. And this empty, oh, I'm sorry. And then this holder for my watches. Um, I was thinking of putting this over here, okay, and then having either like a mirror or something, insp some inspirational wall art there. So I'm not sure yet. And then I thought, okay, what do you guys think? If I put the um, watch holder there, is that nice? Or is it better to just have it off? I don't use my watches all the time. Um, so I thought it's better right now to just have them put away since I don't use this and I want to just have that open space if I need to set down clothes when I'm putting them back or set down clothes when I'm getting dressed. Okay, I believe I got these shoe holders from Target and I love them because they open forward like that. So these are kind of my uh, dress shoes that I wear for work and since I work from home, I don't use those often, but I need them when we have our once a year conference and our once a year board meeting. And I've um, put some videos up of places I've been to like Prague and Vienna for those meetings. And it's been amazing. Here's some more heels. So these are basically heels, the fancy ones. I call them fancy. Like I have some silver gold ones and some gold ones back there. Okay. All right. I do want to point out like this is my nasty rug. Okay. And I do plan to change out the flooring on the whole top floor. I'm still debating if I should re-put carpet, put vinyl plank flooring, vinyl flooring that looks like wood uh, or tile in here. So I, that's that's been taking months for me to decide. So just wanted to point that out if you didn't see that nastiness already. Okay, here I just have the shoes. Like I said, these are pretty much the shoes I'm not wearing, okay? And so when the summer, summer comes up, I'll probably be trading a couple of the shoes out there by my capsule wardrobe rack with shoes like this. And these wedges, I just kind of keep here because they're from Cole Haan and the Cole Haan outlet, at least. And I just like to 
kind of keep them there all the time. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a 360 of my small walk-in closet. So you can see that there's enough space for me to get dressed in here. And um, this is how I've organized it. You can see my side is on the left, his side is on the right. We use different hangers. We love the drawer system from Alpha. It keeps everything nice and tidy. And I should show you the socks, kind of how we um, separate the socks is are with these um, these kind of holders. I think they're called accordion organizers. Okay, and you could use that. I use that same system for my underwear and for my socks. And then up here are stuff we don't normally use. And you just try to put things that you use often in you know your line of sight versus up on top or down at the bottom. Okay, so I'll show you my drawers. So these are my pajamas and kind of have the long pants here, the short ones there. And you will need a divider like this because it keeps your clothes tidy inside the drawer. No one's gonna put a clothing this long across in a drawer that it's not gonna work. It's not gonna be functional. Okay, here I have my shorts. So I have jean shorts on the left and regular shorts on the right. And these drawers hold a lot. These are called uh, these drawers are two runner shorts because this is one runner, this is another runner, and it fits two of those runners. Okay, the other one is a one runner, and this is wide. Okay, these are skirts and pants. Okay, skirts and pants. Skirts there, pants here. And then these are called the one runner because it fits on just one runner. So here, one runner, two runner, and the last drawer is for workout. So these are workouts for, these are um, skirts, these are the bras, and these are pants. All right, so this is in my master bedroom. I got that um, form from my friend, and I just have some jewelry on there. Here are some shoes, and these are the clothes I'm using mainly right now. I got this rack from Ikea, and I like it. it it's a little tilted to the left, so I wish I could figure out how to fix that. But there's a little bit more clothes here because I'm in between seasons. Sometimes it's warm, sometimes it's cold. So I have a few jackets here still and some longer sleeves, but eventually those will go away and it will all be summer because it gets hot here in Phoenix. And you can see like these shoes will be going away also meaning into my closet. This is my master closet organization updated with all the clothes that we have to our name and I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below a tip for organizing your closet and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.